in our never-ending quest to find useful AI tools that will both save you time and help you be more productive. I've got five AI tools to share with you all that are free right now. Hopefully you find at least a couple of these to be useful for you. Runner H from the H Company goes far beyond conventional chatbots. It's designed to orchestrate and execute multi-step workflows across various applications. If you go into connections here on the left, it can connect to various Google applications, including Google Docs and Google Sheets. It can also connect to Notion, Zapier, and Slack. Selecting Discover in the left pane gives examples of the various things it can do. For example, it can summarize weekly Slack insights, prioritize reading queue from saved articles, and find shared calendar slot and schedule sync. You'll find other examples in productivity here at the top, research, and surfer H. Let's go back to their home screen. To begin here in the box, type the at symbol. For this one, I'll just have it reference Google Sheets. Here's a simple example. I'll have it find 10 programming jobs in Austin, Texas, and put them into a Google Sheet with the links. It'll do its thing. It can take a while for it to complete, depending on what you ask it to do. When it's done, it said the task had been completed successfully. It found seven listings through Bing Jobs. It wasn't able to access any of the job listings on Indeed due to access restrictions. And it put that information into a Google Sheet it created. Next up, Suno is an AI-powered music creation platform that allows users to generate full songs, including the vocals, instrumentation, and lyrics. After creating an account, on their homepage for inspiration, you can find music with the prompts used that were created by other users that might help you out when getting started. Most of this music you probably would have never known was created using AI. To begin, here in the left pane, click on Create. Enter your prompt. I'll go with an alt rock song with a chill beat, summer vibes, lo-fi, and powerful percussion. You can also upload audio and add your own lyrics for it to sing. And when you're done with that, click on create. It will generate two songs here on the right. Let's hear what the first one sounds like. second one actually was a little bit better. In addition to using in your favorite browser, it also has apps for Android and iOS. With the free plan on Suno, they give you 50 credits each day, which will make 10 songs. Those songs created are not allowed for commercial use. For additional credits and commercial use rights, plans start at $8 per month. Generative Erase in the Photos app built into Windows is quite useful. Just like Google's Magic Eraser on mobile, it lets users remove unwanted objects or people using AI to replace the background. This is especially handy of getting rid of from an image, an ex-spouse, girlfriend, boyfriend, etc. With a photo opened in the Photos app, click on Edit in the upper left corner. Here on the top row, click on Erase. I find it's best to leave Auto Apply turned on. Then use the slider to adjust the brush size in this example, I'll make the mouse here on this desk disappear. And you don't have to be perfect with this. When you're done, let go. Now the mouse is nowhere to be seen. I actually prefer using Generative Erase in the Photos app when compared to using Google's Magic Eraser. For one, doing this on a desktop screen is a lot easier than doing it on a tiny phone screen. You know what they say, bigger is better. Speechma is pretty cool for people that are shy or can't speak very well. It converts blog posts, scripts, or anything else without having to hire a voice actor. 
It has more than 580 AI voices to choose from with more than 24 languages and accents. Best of all, it's completely free and can be used in monetized content like YouTube, TikTok, presentations, and audiobooks. Enter in your text. I'll use the text from their about page in this example. Below is where you choose the voice. You can sort by language and country. For language, let's go with English. And for country, let's go with Ireland. That leaves me with Connor and Emily. Let's go with Connor. Before generating the audio, you'll see numbers here on the left. Enter those here on the right. That would be 60716. After that, click on Generate Audio. And it looks like I did that incorrectly. So let me try that again, 53676. When it's done, you can play it. And if you like it, download it to your computer. Let's hear what that sounds like. Experience unlimited access to premium quality text-to-speech conversion. Our platform offers high fidelity voice synthesis for all your creative and professional needs. At Speechmer, we believe that the power of the spoken word should be accessible to everyone. We're passionate about breaking down barriers to communication and empowering individuals and businesses to bring their ideas to life through the magic of voice. Grok AI is a generative AI chatbot developed by XAI, the company founded by some dude named Elon Musk. It's a competitor to ChatGPT and Google's Gemini. I prefer using Grok for generating images because it has less restrictions. Earlier, I had to generate these images of frenemies, Donald Trump and Elon. Now I'll have it generate a widescreen image of Meghan Markle kissing a monkey with Prince Harry looking at them angrily. But here's one of the images it created. Not exactly what I wanted. And for the other image, for some reason, it added monkeys to the Trump and Musk image. For free, with no account needed, Grok lets you send 10 text prompts every two hours and generate 10 images every two hours. To get increased limits with Grok, their basic plan does not get you anything extra. You would need to upgrade to their premium plan at $7 per month. Well, that does it for this month's round of AI tools in our AI tools series. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. If you're using an AI tool that you think we should mention in upcoming videos, let us know about it in the comments. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and hit the bell to not miss out on our latest AI videos and other tech-related stuff.